Okay, yeah, I'll, um, I'll just start with how excited we are to, to be here. And um, first day of practice yesterday, just a lot of excitement around the program right now, a lot of um, eager players to get started with 20 hour a week segment and, and um, get going and uh, probably even more eager to Friday be out in front of Husker Nation again and to have our fans be able to um, to get a kind of a sneak peek of our team, get introduced to our roster and um, enjoy a really fun night and a, and a fun weekend in Lincoln, Nebraska coming this weekend. Yeah, I think um, I was just, we're so grateful for the opportunity. It was just an amazing trip. It was an amazing shared experience that uh, we learned a lot about each other. And um, and uh, maybe just as valuable as the 10 practices that you get to, to prep for Greece. And um, we didn't have a lot of male practice players available to us in the summer. So there was a lot of time to go up against each other. And, and um, it's a pretty competitive summer. And, and I think just a, a really good experience for our team. And, um, and we, we pulled a lot from that. And so we're, we're going to lean on that um, as we get started here early with a really challenging schedule. Um, I think that uh, it's a group that I know is going to um, compete and uh, and then celebrate each other's successes. And from my experiences, those two things in combination um, really lead to good things for culture. And uh, if you have teams that want to get after it and compete and can be competitive, but still um, really be excited for each other when they're doing well, um, that that usually equates to really good things down the stretch. What are the restrictions with Allison Liver and Lee right now? Um, no restrictions other than we've just been trying to be really smart about watching her load um, levels and ease her into um, full load just to, to keep her from um, getting too fatigued as we're working her in. But she's full contact and, and doing every drill that everybody on our team is doing, um, just monitoring that load and trying to keep her at a um, certain level as we kind of bump it up week by week. Yeah, I mean, um, obviously those two starters have been a huge part of our culture for the last four years, and, and um, so uh, there's no way to really replace a Sam Hybe and Izzy Bourne, but um, what, I th what I've seen is just um, great leadership emerging from players like Jazz Shelley and Maddie and Ani Stewart and just uh, several other of our returning players just really kind of stepping up and learning how to um, be vocal as leaders and, and understand what Alexis Markowski, you know, just understanding like what um, we want this program, this team, you know, this season to look like and, and being able to be vocal about that with, um, with our newcomers has been, it's been really special to watch. Uh, our big focus is to, to lock in defensively, and, and I think the girls can kind of feel it, and we've been probably committing a little more of our practice plan towards defense than we've done in the past, but trying to um, increase our focus on uh, being a pretty intense team on that side of the ball, and, and so that's something we really want to uh, pay attention to heading into the preseason games. Yeah, I mean, I think in some regards it really uh, it really has those extra ten practices. It's the first practice yesterday. We were doing um, a lot of things um, more advanced than what we were a year ago on our first practice. There's no doubt about that. But um, I think you know we still have some things. You know, Jess Petrie, who's our our freshman Australian incoming, um, was training and and playing in the World Championships this summer, and so uh, these are still her first practices, and so um, it's kind of. Um, really good for her, a player like her, to have everybody else on the team that kind of has had 
a little bit of repetition on some of the things and, and they can all kind of pull her over to the side and, and be able to help uh, coach her up and, and get her up to speed. She's, it helps that she's a really high IQ basketball player and picks things up very quickly. And um, But just trying to kind of mesh some of the new pieces still, even, even though we had those um, extra games and practices this summer. Yeah, I'm I'm super excited about her. I think um, she uh, is is as I mentioned, just really high IQ, and um, she's picking up um, different terminology like um, very very quickly. And uh, she's had a lot of really good basketball experiences and played for some really competitive teams, so that um, has allowed her to adjust easily and quickly. And and so I'm just really excited about her abilities to uh, be coachable and um, adjust and fit in and mesh with our team uh, both on and off the court quickly. How important has that Australian pipeline been for you in your program? Well, I mean, I think um, you can just look at the fact that, I mean, Josh Shelley was a first team all-conference player last year. Izzy Bourne, an honorable mention all-conference player, uh, you know, on our record books for all-time rebounders and, um, and, you know, no doubt about it that um, we've had some great players come through our program from there, and we're going to continue to have some great players come through our program from there. So uh, definitely something that we'll want to keep uh, keep that pipeline coming. When it comes to Jazz, when she was making her decision last year, I mean, how nervous were you through that? How relieved were you when she announced that? And how much does that, does that really raise the expectations of this year's team? You know, to be honest with you, um, like obviously we, we were really very, very excited when I still have kind of some of the pictures and celebration videos um, from my office when she uh, told us that she was officially coming back. But um, we care about jazz as a as a young woman. And so we were going to be supportive of her just like we were Izzy born with whatever decision was was made. But um, now that uh, she is a Husker for another year, we are. Um, even more excited to, um, I think our, our team obviously is going to benefit from, from having her leadership and her abilities on the court. But, um, but in addition to that, you know, we, we're, we take it very serious that um, we, we're focused on, on helping her develop and, and lead this team to where she wants to, so that she can get the experiences that she came back for. Yeah, um, she is a pistol. Uh, she's just kind of a little water bug. Uh, she has just um, pushed pace. Um, she is picking up offense quickly. She plays on both sides of the ball almost every time that everybody else on our team is kind of fatigued and their tongue is hanging out of the side of their mouth. She's just still going, just bouncing around. And um, when we maybe have struggled a couple possessions offensively, she's going to make a play, get a steal on defense, go down and and lay it up. I mean, she just has a knack for making plays and um, really think she's going to play a big, huge role for us and excited that um, she's part of the program. What's it been like working with Julian? Yeah, Julian is high energy, so uh, super fun. Um, he complements our staff really, really well. He's just um, full of um, energy and juice, and he brings that to practice every day. And I think just um, just a really, really good compliment for our team um, as a mentor and as a um, you know as a dad. And um, uh, it just does a great job of of just filling in with our staff and and um, picking up some things that um, complement the rest of us. Uh, what I like about them is that they want to work and they and they still um, know how to have fun and so I think that's um, something that um, is you know when when they know what it takes but yet can still come in with joy on their faces and that they're having fun and that they can smile and laugh um, mistakes off and be able to um, to move on to the next play I think um, that's that's been the most enjoyable part so far. Can she really toughen your team and help you back? 
Yeah, Allison just sets the tone, um, and I think that's you know what we miss most. I mean, her ability to kind of get up and and hound you know defensively and put some pressure on, and and that um, it really kind of inspires the rest of her teammates to do the same and to play with that same level of intensity. But um, when you look at um, our win at Maryland last year, and she had a double double and was, you know, led our team in rebounding and was just all over the place, rebounding down the floor, making plays, pushing tempo, creating shots for, uh, you know, Jazz hit a bunch of threes in the second half of that game, but um, most of it was Allison led because she would rebound and really collapse defense and then kick out and find Jazz um, in moments. So I think, you know, players like Jazz benefited from playing with Allison. Players like Alexis Markowski benefited from playing with Allison. And, and so I think just having her back and the things that she does well and, and gaining confidence each and every day, um, it just it makes a huge difference for the rest of our roster. I know you can't speak for her, but did you feel like you, you had to keep her spirits up at all last year when she was going through that, or did she stay pretty positive? When she I was thrilled with the way she approached it. And, and um, yes, I've been through um, – uh, knee injuries myself and and um, personally and with several players that I've coached and so there are certain things that I'm kind of on the lookout for and and things that we try to um, prep for and and that I had plenty of conversations throughout it about just the the mental approach to recovering from an injury like that um, and um, I think uh, I think all of that probably helps, but in the grand scheme of things, that kid is one hard-nosed, tough-nosed, competitive kid, and I had no doubt that she was going to approach her rehab with the same competitive spirit that she has every race she ran as a track athlete, every basketball game she's played, every every sporting event she gets into. Um, it doesn't matter if we're playing sand volleyball against our softball team. Allison's going to come out there um, to, to, to win, and, and I love that about her, but um, that's the same approach she had with, with her rehab. Uh, yeah, I think so. And and obviously, um, you know, we were disappointed to not be in the NCAA tournament, but we also had a couple of postseason wins last year. So I think to, to really talk about the disappointing way that the season ended, I think I'm proud of the way that we were able to fight through and advance to a Sweet 16 of a postseason tournament. And, and um, but, but obviously, I think, um, you know, our team is, is really motivated to, to show uh, that we deserve to be playing in the NCAA tournament, and that's something that we're going to have to prove every single day. Today, this afternoon, when I go to practice, I mean, it takes what it takes to be in that uh, tournament field, and that's what that's what the message will be today at practice. It's what it's going to be next week at practice. It's going to be what it the message when we play Maryland to open our Big Ten slate. It's going to be you know every single game on our schedule is just you know we have to we have to bring that that every day. Um, it it kind of does. It kind of does. But, uh, you know, I think our, our players are super eager. Uh, coaches always feel like, oh, we're going to play in front of fans on Friday. So um, we definitely have some things that we probably need to sharpen up before then. But um, but I'm so excited about it. So excited. It'll be here November, first game before we know it. So. Yeah, I think so. And the fact that Maddie Kroll is the only player on our roster who's played in a Sweet 16. I mean, um, she has earned that with the experiences that she's had before she got to Nebraska and now um, that she's been here. And she played a lot of minutes for us last year because she does the little things right. And the players respect that when they watch her do all those little things right every day in practice. And um, and so um, she's, she's just got more confidence in our schemes and defensive schemes and wherever 
everybody's supposed to be. So she's um, she's very, pretty vocal about directing everybody where they're supposed to be and helping them get there. And she just has a calmness about her that um, her teammates respect. Uh, you know, a, a competitive spirit, and um, and that um, equates well to to really good leadership. Anything else, Coach Wyatt? Thanks, guys. Yeah.